Recently, I've been super into Airsoft and I wanted to share my experience with you. One of the best ways to film Airsoft is with a GoPro. Whether it's in a game at a site or at a range, players use GoPros for everything. There are tons of different GoPro mounts for helmets, tack vests and even guns, but those cost money. Right now, a mount for your gun will cost you £9 and the design of it really isn't that great because the GoPro would be in the way if you were to look down the site. So I thought I'd save a couple quid by 3D printing my own GoPro mount. I didn't design this mount, I just downloaded it from Thingiverse, so I'll leave a link to it in the description. The 3D printer I have is the Wii Fontina 2 and the filament I use is PLA Plus from Eono. Both of those are also linked in the description. And here is the finished product. I think it turned out great and it's actually pretty sturdy. I was I'm worried that the plastic would snap when tightening the screws, but it held up super well. Let's get it onto a gun and test it. The gun we'll be using is Alex's CM515 M4. Alex and Louie actually have their own dedicated Airsoft channel, so make sure you subscribe to them for more Airsoft related content. So here is a proper look at the CM515 with the GoPro mount. We've got a GoPro Hero 3 Black Edition and we've used a extender just so we can get it on a nicer angle. How does it feel? No, it feels fine to be 100% honest. So as you can see the GoPro it isn't too much in the way but obviously it's not 100% accurate given that we are recording on an external device. So because they are 3D printed these are made from PLA plus filament so it is essentially plastic and also if you have a look here we haven't secured it in place with any screws. There are holes for you to secure it in place yourself. In terms of quality like I said it is plastic so it may not be ideal for an arena environment but if you take it to a range and you're not doing any close combat stuff it's should be ideal for that. And that concludes our test on 3D printed airsoft accessories. I also designed and printed this 25 to 20 millimeter Picatinny rail adapter for Alex. I think as long as it's on a rail, it should work just fine. But if you'd like to see more from me, make sure to subscribe to the channel, leave a like on the video, and if you press the notification bell, you can get notified when I next upload. Thank you all so much for watching. Stay safe out there, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.